with the roles that I have as a professional, as a mother, as a wife, as a friend, you know, how am I communicating, how am I scheduling my time, how am I finding information, I mean technology is so seamlessly interwoven into our lives. A couple of years ago my son came to me and he said, is Santa real? And I'm frantically Googling, how do you, how do you share with your son about Santa? You know, I think it's important to be able to answer or at least collectively try and figure out an answer to questions. I mean, you don't want to stifle curiosity. So we spend a lot of time online trying to figure out, you know, why, you know, why things happen. It would be incredible if everyone in the world had that ability to access the information, to make informed decisions, to understand if their government represents them the best way that they can. I've been in corporate communications and communications for almost 20 years, um, and I really look at myself as a storyteller. I work with companies, I work with entrepreneurs and businesses, and I help them to first identify and then share their story both with their employees and with the world. Technology around communication is incredible. It has helped us to identify and identify with and create emotional connections with people worldwide is incredible. That's powerful beyond anything I think people would have imagined a hundred years ago. Men are creating technologies, but they're not thinking about how other experiences interact with them, right? From a female perspective, from an LGBTQ perspective, from a, 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 a younger person's perspective. And I think having a diverse voices in technology is incredibly important. We all benefit when there's multiple perspective and multiple experiences brought to a technology. I'm personally excited in VR. I think it's incredible. I think creating immersive worlds and being able to have a 360 degree view. Um, I thought what New York Times did with their series where they mailed out the headsets and um, really created a sense of time and place. As large as the world is, it became very small. And I think that humanizes real stories and real situations and hopefully met motivates people to um, get involved and make it better. They have to be able to share what their technology does. I mean, they're so busy in the weeds of, you know, get from point A to point B that you forget that you're telling a story about what you're solving or what you're offering. That's the disconnect sometimes between the technology and the end user. First understand, cr then craft, and then share. Understanding who you are, what you do and how it benefits other people is really the key.